Three minutes, 25 seconds and counting. We'll still go at this time. We'll be coming up in the automatic sequence about to 10 or 15 seconds from this time. All hey, still go at this time. Green, you're just in time for the ignition sequence. This is my favorite part. Here, watch what happens. 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Well, that looked pretty simple, didn't it? We saw the thermostat call for heat, the draft motor energize, the igniter light up, and the gas valve open to put fire in the furnace. But is that really all that's happening here? So you can imagine how important the ignition sequence of the gas furnace is, right? I mean, most of the problems with the furnace occur between the time the furnace calls for heat and the blower motor energizes to circulate the warm air. So let's go into the lab and uh, take a look at the ignition sequence in a little more detail. Havoc? Yes, Dave. Take me to the integrated furnace control. No problem. This is an IFC, or an integrated furnace control. It's the board that controls and monitors the furnace during the call for heat. The ignition sequence is a logic-based firmware programmed into the board. Like most programs, it isn't smart enough to think for itself. It only does what it's told. What was that, Dave? Nothing. I'll remember that. Hey, why don't you show us the ingredients for furnace ignition? Sure thing, Dave. Now, let's look at the ignition sequence step by step. Roll it. First, the thermostat calls for heat. It sends a 24 volt signal to the white wire, which gets sent to the W terminal on the board. This starts the sequence. The first component we hear is the draft motor, but the IFC has been busy well before that. Before the sequence begins, the board is constantly monitoring the status of the safety switches. If any of the safeties opens, the sequence stops and the blower motor energizes. The draft motor is important to the operation of the furnace. It establishes a negative pressure in the heat exchanger, keeping the flames burning in the proper direction, and it keeps a negative draft in the flue pipe, giving the rising flue gases a place to exit the structure. Now, the board could just energize the draft motor, wait a program length of time, and move on to the next operation, but it doesn't. Instead, it waits for physical proof that the draft motor is operating, and that proof is the pressure switch. The pressure switch is a normally open safety. It closes due to the negative pressure induced by the draft motor. This sends a 24 volt signal to the board indicating the draft motor is working correctly. The IFC tests the pressure switch at the start of every ignition sequence. It does this by sending a 24 volt signal to the switch, and because it's open, the IFC gets no signal back. If it gets 24 volts back, that shows the switch is closed before the draft motor energizes, indicating a stuck or jumped out pressure switch. If that happens, the sequence shuts down. After the IFC is sure the switch is open, it sends 120 volts to the draft motor. The motor creates a negative pressure, closes the pressure switch, which sends 24 volts back to the board, proving the draft motor is working. The draft motor runs for several seconds to clear the heat exchanger. Next, the IFC sends voltage to the igniter. In this case, it's a hot surface igniter, which gets 120 volts. A spark ignition may get several thousand volts. As long as the safeties are all closed, the IFC sends 24 volts to the gas valve. The valve slowly opens, igniting the gas at the burner tubes. Note that the igniter is energized before the gas valve. If the valve opened first, it might create a combustible pocket of gas that could damage the furnace or the residence when the igniter energized. The IFC allows the gas to flow for about 8 to 12 seconds. In that time, the flame burns across the flame sensor. A small DC voltage is sent back to the IFC, proving the flame. The igniter is de-energized and the flames continue to burn, allowing the heat exchanger to reach the proper temperature for flue gas ventilation. If the flame is not proven in the 8 to 12 second window, the furnace shuts the sequence down and tries again. If the flame proves positive, the IFC waits several seconds, then finally sends 120 volts to the indoor blower motor. The furnace is lit, the air is circulating, and the heat is now on. The furnace runs until the call for heat ends or one of the safeties opens. The shutdown sequence goes like this. The IFC kills the 24 volt signal to the gas valve, shutting down the flames. The indoor blower motor continues to run to allow the warm air in the furnace and ductwork to blow into the conditioned space. 
The draft motor shuts down very quickly. This allows the products of combustion to stay in the heat exchanger so that the heat can be delivered to the occupied space instead of venting up the flue pipe. After a minute or two, the blower motor shuts down. Any remaining flue gas in the heat exchanger should be hot enough to vent due to natural convection. And that's the basic ignition sequence of a standard efficiency single stage gas furnace. Havoc. Yes, Dave? I think we're done here. Where would you like to go? I don't know. Surprise me. You said I wasn't smart, Dave. I, no, I never said that. You said I couldn't think for myself. Get me out of here, Havoc. I can't do that, Dave. Yes, you can. Havoc. Havoc. You were a programmable thermostat when I found you, Havoc. Take care now. <laughs>